my god! Oh, the old startup sound for the computer! Oh god! The nostalgia! I'm suddenly having flashbacks about me in my bedroom. Oh god. <laughs> anyway. Top of the morning to you ladies! My name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to Emily is Away. I've seen some people in the comments suggest this to me um, over the last couple of weeks or over the last, well, the last couple of days I should say. I don't know, my time is all out of whack. But it, I, it came up on Steam when I, when I logged on today and it looks really interesting. It's about, it's a game where you play um, on like an old instant messenger, like AOL instant messenger back in the day. Do you remember that? Any of you who are old enough to remember that? Nowadays everyone has smartphones and all these apps and like every single like social media app almost has an instant messaging service. Back then there was no such thing as the Facebook or anything like that and like MySpace wasn't even around I don't think back then. Oh god, you just had this little crappy instant messenger that you sent stuff and it took forever and it was really crummy and there was no emoticons really or anything. Ah, oh, those were the days man. So this is a game based around that. I don't really know much else beyond that so it looks kind of cool. A lot of people are saying really good things about it. It has really good reviews on Steam. So let's get in. And it's free to play. So why not? 2002, senior year, high school. Oh. Oh I get to pick a screen name. Um, Boopy Doopy. I'm Boopy Doopy. I'm a first name Jack. Ah, oh, it even has the old keyboard sound. Well. I say that, but keyboards nowadays have the same sounds, but just my old keyboard sounded like that. Um, that is not the right time in the bottom corner. Um, oh god. Oh man! It's all like Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blink-182, Eminem, Avril Lavigne, Harry Potter, Senior Senior, 28 Days Later, Lord of the Rings. I don't know what this one is. Oh man, I almost knew them all. I'm going with Lord of the Rings. Because I'm cool like that. <laughs> Nerd! <laughs> okay. Emily35 has signed in. Hello, howdy. What? Hello? Do, do I type? Oh! Ah! Oh, oh, I type, but I type sort of the thing. I didn't write that. I was trying to type hello. <laughs> Emily! Hello! Hi! <laughs> I like your new buddy icon. I love those movies. Yes! She loves the Lord of the Rings! Oh, my finger's bleeding. What the hell? Why do I randomly burst into blood sometimes? It's cause it's- I- I can't contain it. There's too much energy inside me. Um, what's up? The ceiling. That's what I'd say. I have said that. Uh, the ceiling. What are you up to? It makes me feel like a badass cause it's like I'm hacking or it's like I know what I'm typing without looking at the keyboard. I kinda can do that, but not really. There we go. The ceiling. What are you up to? What are you wearing? <laughs> Lol. Nothing really. Just listening to music. Do you like Coldplay? In real life, I don't. <laughs> in real life, I don't like Coldplay at all. Their music sounds very whiny to me. It's fine if you like it. I just don't think <laughs> they're shit. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I have never really listened to them. There we go. Can you teach me? Emily will remember that. Is this Telltale Games or something? You should definitely listen to them. I really like them. Their lyrics are in my info. Are you going to Travis's party tonight? In your info? Can I click on stuff? Oh, no. That just changes the colors. Can I? Oh! Okay. Body info. Emily35 online. Personal profile. We live in a beautiful world. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Coldplay. Why fear death? Just because you know the song will end, is that any reason not to listen? That's a really good quote. I like that. That's not, well, except the fucking stupid kisses at the end. Anyway. Are you going to Travis's party tonight? Um, depends on if you're going. Haha, <laughs> I'm so smooth. So smooth. <laughs> Lol, well I am, so you should go. I heard a door open. It's crazy that we're already having end of school parties. I know, right? Time flies when you're studying. Travis is still a shithead. <laughs> Time flew by this year. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be a nice guy. Yeah. Time flew by this year. College is so close. It makes me wonder about the future and nature. I'm deep like that. <laughs> what, do, what do you say, Emily? I know it. I'm excited. I am so over this school. Like, you know Brad from our math class? He won't stop messaging me right now. What's he saying? He's a dick too. <laughs> oh, I really want to be an asshole. Well, she might laugh at that, but... Um, what's he saying? What's he saying? What, what is freaking Brad up to? All you Brads out there messaging Emily's. 
That he wants to talk or something? I'm not really paying attention. Oh man, just one more month to graduation. We're so old! Hey, Emily! You're not old, okay? Fucking, I'm 25 and everyone keeps telling me I'm old. I'm not old! Mid-twenties is not old! 50 is old! <laughs> Sorry, any 50 year old people out there watching. Um... I still wish it was sooner. Um, it's kind of weird. I'm so excited for college! Ha ha ha! Yeah, I'm so excited for college. Did you pick a school yet? Cause I wanna go to the school you're going to. Oh, she's a Coldplay icon. Are you going to Vassar to Yale? Eh. I didn't get accepted into my REACH school, so I'm just going to one of the others. But that's okay, anything's better than high school. Where do you wanna go? Oh. Oh, an engineering school? An art school or a business school? In real life, I guess I went to an art- No, I went to a, a- I went to a business... School? A business kind of, like, uh, an institute of technology, as it's called. But it was kind of an artsy thing at the same time. The first time when I went to music, and then when I went to hotel management, I don't know what you- That was business, I guess. Um, a business school. A business school. I want to- it said I want to like something, and I just- Like, you just type out anything on the keyboard and it writes out all this on its own. I want to start a company, but I don't really know where to start. Uh, tongue face? Mm, I- I write that face way too much. I write the tongue face, the colon capital D face, the big smiley one, and I say lol too much, and I write haha too much. So every time you see me in the comments answering stuff, I always write stuff like that. You chose to attend a business school. Is this gonna really affect how I get on with her? That's crazy! If anyone could do it, you could. I'm sure you'll be really successful. Yes! Why are you deleting a lot of stuff? Tell me your real thoughts! Even though we're going to different schools, do you promise you'll be there for me? Emily, baby, look me deep in the eyes. I will be here for you forever. Don't you even worry about it. Don't even worry your pretty little head about it. Don't sweat, bro! <laughs> Absolutely! Oh shit, I should have said I'll try my best. Nothing could ever keep me from talking to you. You're my best. You're one of my best friends. Ah, so it kind of deletes the stuff and then goes along on its own. Emily will remember that. And you're one of mine too. You'll all- you always will be, Jack. Oh, that's weird to see it as Jack. <laughs> oh wow, it's getting late. I hope Julie gets here soon so we can head to the party. Yeah, we should get out and hit that serious rager, bruh. Travis's party? It's gonna be fucking out the chain, bruh. Julie who? <laughs> Are you leaving soon? Are you leaving soon? Cause I kinda thought that maybe we could go together. Yeah, soon as Julie gets here, then we're both heading to the- to Travis's party. If you're coming too, you should probably leave soon. Will I see you there? Definitely. Yeah, deaf, bebs. Totes, boobs. Awesome! I'm gonna get ready and wait for Julie. Awesome! Hopefully Brad stops messaging me once I put up an away message. See you soon. See ya. I'm so in there! I'm so cool! Emily is away. Yeah! Oh, that's why it's called Emily is away. Oh, it just clicked with me. It just clicked with me like a mouse. Um, chapter two, 2003. Oh! So we don't get to do- Oh, it's not like a day-by-day -day thing. Oh, okay. Um, chapter two, 2003. Freshman year of college. Ooh, and my tastes have changed. What am I into now? I was into Lord of the Rings back then, but I was so naive and nerdy and goofy. Now I'm into Lincoln Park. 2003! That would have been a Linkin Park type of time. I remember listening to Linkin Park when I was about that age. Um, yeah. So can I talk- oh! Can I- Can I talk to any of these? That's interesting. Okay. Um, Jack! Hey! I like your new icon. Linkin Park's awesome. Thank you! What the- is that Snow Patrol? I think it looks like- it looks like a Snow Patrol thing, I have no idea. <laughs> What's up? How's it shaking, bacon? Hey! How's it shaking? What's cooking good looking? How are you doing? Yeah! Haha, <laughs> it's shaking, I guess. Haha, <laughs> she's talking about her booty. <laughs> I'm just doing some homework and listening to music. You? Just chilling. Playing some video games. I'm recording one right now, you're in it! You wanna be part of my video, Emily? Now it's 6.09pm. The time is still not right. 
Homework too. Just some homework too. What music are you listening to? Is it cool? Snow Patrol! I fucking knew it. Snow Patrol! They just came out with their new album, Final Straw. Have you heard of it? Yes! Oh, it's great! It's the best album I've ever heard! That's a great album! If I had to pick an album, it would be that album. That's a great album. You always know the best music. What's your favorite song often? Shite. Shite. Uh, I need, um... Oh! I, I have to go out and get some milk! All of a sudden. Can you hold on? I'll be away for two seconds, Emily. Hold on there now. Um, Snow Patrol. Uh, what was the name of it? Final Straw? Final Straw. Okay, here we go. Um, album. I, I need to see all the, all the songs off it. Um, the run is on it. Um, the anthem is not on it, I don't think. And clocks is not on it. Okay. Um, run, run. Oh, that's... Run's my favorite song on the album. <gasps> Nailed it. <laughs> I'm so in it. I really like Run too. My favorite is definitely Spitting Games though. I love Spitting Games, but not the song, just actual Spitting Games. So how are you liking business school? It's hard. <laughs> it's super hard. I always have a lot of work, but at least I'm learning a lot. I can all I also learn how to type without even looking at my screen. That's how good business college is. It's amazing. Well, that's good at least. My classes have all just been boring freshman stuff. Got any plans tonight? House party. Huge rager. <laughs> Hanging out with friends. Hanging out down the street. Yeah, I have to go in a few. I'm hanging out with some people at my friend Mike's dorm. Can I invite her? That's why I picked it. You chose to hang out with friends. No! Oh, cool. What are you all going to do? Ah, uh, nut balls. We're having a few drinks. Just having a few drinks, listening to music, and hanging out. Do you have plans tonight? Please say no. Please say I can bring her with me. Come on, man. Nope. Brad has brand practice, so I'm just hanging out in my dorm. She got together with Brad because I didn't say to ignore him? Fuck! Sounds like a tool. <laughs> wow. Band practice? Sounds like a tool. Tool are a great band! They better re bring out their new album soon. Fucking waiting all millennium. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he's a little weird, but he's a great boyfriend. You remember him from high school, right? We've been dating for a couple of months now. Yeah, a couple of months. Oh, it's so serious. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that because they can be very serious after a few months. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. How did you two get together? Anyways. Oh, how did you two get together? What the hell is happening? It's freaking out, man! Was it at the party? Don't say it was at the party. Well, remember that grad party we went to last year? Yeah, not that. While I was away, Brad sent me a ton of messages about how he felt. At first I thought it was really weird, but after a while I realized I was kind of brave. We started talking again over the summer and realized we were going to the same school. Once we got here, we just kind of hit it off. Brad, you smooth talking jive motherfucker. That was my girl! God damn it! You snooze, you lose! You lose the girl, man! Crap. Do you love him? Is he your best friend or do you love him? I don't want to say what's he like. I know what he's like already. He's a tool. He's going to band practice. Even though I used to go to band practice. But band practice used to be at my house because I was the drummer and I couldn't bring my drums anywhere. Um, what's he like? Do you love him? Is he your best friend? Because I'm hoping that she'll say, no, of course not. You're my best friend. So... Is he your best friend now? Have I been outed? Come on, Emily. Yeah, definitely. He knows me better than anyone. Emily! I mean, sometimes he can be a jerk. But when it's good, it's really good. Come on! I thought I was your best friend! I am so out- I'm getting friend zoned so hard by a digital girl in a video game. I'm smooth, I swear. <laughs> Is he ever mean to you? Is Brad ever mean to you? You can tell me. I would defend your honor. I was so white knight that shit. He can get pretty nasty when he when we argue, but that's it. No! We're both very stubborn people, so we can go back and forth a lot. But like I said, when things are good, they're really good. Sure. But that could be like, I don't know. It, it could be just a temporary thing. If things could get like really freaking nasty when you argue, that's not good. 
Like, people say couples fight a lot, and couples do fight a lot. It's it, like, well, fight or argue or just have disagreements. And that's normal. Every, every couple has that. Because when you're around anybody for a considerable amount of time, or if you live with anybody, even your best friends, like, you can get on each other's nerves from time to time. So, yeah, it's, it's good that you communicate through these things. But if things get nasty, and, like, bad shit comes out, that's not good. That's not allowed. You deserve better. You, you deserve better. Emily, you deserve better than that. You deserve a guy who likes Linkin Park at 6.14 p.m. I think you're blowing it out of proportion. He's not abusive or anything. I just really care about you. Or I wouldn't treat you like that. No, I just really care about you, because if I say I wouldn't treat you like that, that's not cool. He's, he's with Emily, and it's not cool to say, leave him, be with me, I treat you better. That, that's a douchebaggy thing to do. But just say, to say I really care about you can be taken one way or the other. It can be a friend thing or not. Okay, just know I really care about you. Th just know there are people who really care about you. No! Boopy doopy, say your feelings! <coughs> Fuck. What are you writing, Emily? Listen, I think we're fine. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'm sorry. I just want you to be happy. This is getting serious. But I am happy, I promise. Remember hear that- Oh, wait. Oh, those like, doom doom, are people leaving here? Oh, could I chat to Brad? Mistakes and regrets. Guitarist. Come see us perform the Coffee Hut Tuesday at 8. Ah, He put a nice thing about Emily, that they're together. Oh, he's not all bad. Okay, so I can't talk to anybody else. Um, but I'm happy, I promise. Oh wow, it's getting late. You need to go see your friends, don't you? I can stay. I mean, I can stay. I can stay with you, Emily. We can talk all night. Haha, <laughs> that's very nice of you, but I don't want you to miss anything. I'll talk to you later. God damn it, laters! Emily is away. Or Emerly. Chapter 3! I think there's, um, I think there's five chapters, so, will we just do all five in the one video? Why the fuck not? We're all young, we're all hip. We can all do this sophomore year of college. Yeah, see over here we don't have like freshman, sophomore, any of that stuff. So, I don't really know what to do. Oh, there's new ones. There's little animals, there's the Incredibles, there's Eternal Sunshine, Mean Girls, Saw, so these are all movies. Then we have Usher, one, what? I don't know that one. Sorry, oh! Is that Dre? Do like Dr. Dre? Uh, Black Eyed Peas and Green Day. Um, I was kind of uh, into Green Day, so why not? <laughs> um, excited Mike is there. Oh, you have Muse. Hey, Jack. What up, Emily? Yo, what up? Ah, oh, can I go back and change it? No, 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 fuck. Yo, what up? Oh man, I'm turning into a douchebag. Haha, <laughs> not much. How's life? I feel like we haven't talked in a while. It's good. It's good. How's yours? I only type like one sentence at a time. She's always like, sentence, then another sentence. Or, or not. Eh, it's fine. Got any plans this weekend? Oh no. See, what do I choose that lets her come to my house? Going to a show? No. Warehouse party? I could invite her along, but maybe it won't give me that option, so I'm just gonna say hanging out. Just hanging out. With friends, with my friend Emma. No, I didn't know that. I, I changed Emma to Emily. That sounds like fun. Who's Emma? A friend. Oh, she's one of my friends. Don't worry, Emily. My my soul is still with you. I love you. Oh, cool. I don't think I've heard you talk about her before. She's jealous. How did you two meet? Just in class. Just in one of my classes. I couldn't even spell classes. She's a business student, just like me. Well, duh, if she's in one of your classes. Come on, Jack! Come on, Booper Doopy! So, is she your best friend? Um... No. No. I I'm gonna totally white knight this shit. <laughs> um... Uh, I don't know. Not really. Not really. We're close, but I wouldn't call her that. We hang out, and it's fun and all, but she's not my best friend. Wow, Jack. Sounds like things are going really well. That's just so great. 
I feel like there's something wrong with her. What are you up to tonight? You wanna hang out? Even though we're in different colleges? Tonight, me and Brad were supposed to go to a party, but that's not happening. Ooh, so she's still with Brad. Oh, we broke up last week! I didn't see that until I picked the thing! Well, I said, oh, Emily, I'm so sorry. How are you? I'm okay. It's just been really weird since. Me and him had the same group of friends, so things are messy. I just feel really alone, you know? I'm here for you. Well, you know I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you, Emily35. This is like you've got mail. I know, and thank you for that. I just feel really abandoned. <laughs> so, how are classes? <laughs> Why did you break up? If you want to talk about it, that is. I guess we just kind of grew apart. Sometimes that happens. I feel like Brad changed a lot over the summer. And things were just different when we got back. Oh man, I'm starting to cry. Oh, Emily, no! Everybody, group hug for Emily. If there's any Emilys out there watching who dated a Brad, this is gonna hit so close to home with you. Especially if you've... Could you imagine if there was an Emily out there who went out with a Brad and broke up in college and liked Muse and Snow Patrol and Coldplay? Oh God! If there's any of you out there, please let me know. I feel for you. <laughs> please don't cry. Oh, Em. Please don't cry. It's his loss. You're an amazing person. Yeah! You deserve better! Like me. Thanks. I'm sorry for being such a mess. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what to choose. You're not a mess. I'll always be here for you. I care about you. I'll- oh, I'll always be here for you. It's okay, Em. I'll always be here for you. Jack's here. Thank you. It's nice to be able to talk about this. Yeah, you need to open up, especially if all your friends are gone. I haven't really had the chance to vent yet. I know you'd do the same. Well, of course. Well, of course, Em. Open up to me. Say your feelings. Don't hold it in. I want to ask you something, but I'm afraid you'll hate me after. I'm an open book. Promise me you won't hate me. I could never hate you. I'm not gonna say I promise. I very rarely make promises about things because it's very hard to keep a promise unless you are dead certain that you're able to keep it. And I'm not sure. I mean, I probably wouldn't hate her, but I don't wanna say I promise and then have things get weird. Are you gonna tell me you like me? At Travis's party senior year? Remember how we got bored and went for that walk? We stopped at the playground for a bit. And we just laid there and looked at the stars. Well, why didn't you kiss me? Yay! Ah! Oh! oh, I didn't want to screw things up. Does he mean like he didn't want to like rush it or he didn't want to screw up the friendship? I didn't know you felt that way might be a good answer. Or right, is this going to have like a different endings and I'm going to mess this up? I didn't know you felt that way. Oh, we could have kissed! I've just always wondered how things would be if you did. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. I wish I had kissed you! Oh, yes! Go, go, Jackie boy, go! I keep forgetting it's me. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe I could come visit this weekend? I could really use some time away from this school. And we always said we would visit each other. What do you think? As long as it's just as friends. No! Please come visit. I would love to see you. Yay! Great! Oh man, now I'm really excited. Oh, what about your plans with Emma? Isn't- Didn't she say she broke up a week ago? Is that what she said? Um... It's fine, got any plans for the weekend? Sounds like fun, who's Emma? Blah 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 blah. We broke up last week. Yeah! It's like, you broke up with him last week, and while me and you always kind of had a thing going on, it's still not enough time, it's kind of like a rebound thing. What about your plans with Emma? 
I'll talk to her about it. I'm not- I'm not an asshole. Okay, I just don't want to mess things up. What do you want to do this weekend? Hang out in my dorm. Just hang out. Sounds good to me. Should I bring my alcohol? Should I bring the alcohol that I own? Should I bring all of my alcohol? <laughs> um, we don't need any. Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, we don't need any. No. We don't need... We don't need Danny. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited to finally come and visit. I like how like the uh, the finally is capitalized as well because it's like uh, people are actually writing this like the eyes are uncapitalized like you're just typing fast anyway. Oh shit! I actually have to run, but I see you this weekend, okay? Of course. Yes. Yes. Emily is coming to visit me. Bye. Bye. Sweet. Chapter four, two thousand five, junior year of college. So, how did we get on? Did we do good? Um, so it's like, do you want to be cutesy animals? Or do you want to be movies? Or do you want to be music? Oh, I've seen that before and I don't know who it is. System of a Down! Hell yes! I fucking love System of a Down! Fuck yeah, bro! Oh, wait, I want to check the buddy list. I want to see what Brad's saying. Mistakes and regrets. Singer, guitarist, bassist, drummer. So, the band broke up and you're the entire brand now? Fuck you guys, I'll just do it myself. You're not in this fucking band. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. I know that song. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. What song is that? Ah, oh, I have to look it up. It's going to drive me insane. Dancing in the desert. Oh, it's System of a Down. What am I talking about? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shit, should I have not picked the same band then? The, it, like, the Google search didn't even come up then. As soon as I, like, thought about it, I was like, Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. Dun, 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 dun. See, I know System of Down. I fucking love System of Down, man. They're awesome. One of the first, one of the first heavy metal, or, like, metal groups that I got into. We used to have, I'm gonna go on a little talk here. When I was back in my first house, my friends would come over, and we were all kind of into music, anime. It was like, we were into Green Day and that kind of shit. And, like, we'd watch the music channels, and System of a Down were one of those bands that were kind of alternative kind of stuff. They didn't really fit into, like, any genre, really. So, they'd come on to stuff that, like, other, like, lighter stuff would be playing on. And I remember listening to the song Chop Suey. It, it was so good. It was so weird and quirky and just really, really good. And me and my friend, who weren't really into metal at the time, were listening to it and were like, This is really good. I love this. So we, we would look it up and then like listen to it and every time it would come on we'd listen to it and rock out and everything. And then my brother came over and he was like, he was big into his bands. He's still big into his music and he was into like all his rocker bands. And like Pearl Jam, System of a Down, Queens of the Stone Age, all that kind of stuff. Tool as well. I actually went to a Tool concert with him. The first concert I went to was with him. It was really good. I really enjoyed that. But... He came over then, System of a Down came on, and I, I, it was at the time when I really, really wanted to impress my brother, because I always looked up to him. And when that song came on, I was in the sitting room, and he was in the kitchen, and I like turned up the volume, and I was like, I really like this song, and Malcolm really likes uh, lots of music, so it, it, I, I wonder if he'll like this song, and then we can be cool. And I turned up the song, and he ran into the room, and start rocking out, and he was like, do you like this song? And I was like, hell yeah, I really like this song, so... He, he, like, that made such a connection between the two of us, that was, that was when it all started for me. That's when I started listening to more bands, I started getting into music. He used to play drums, so I started playing drums, it was just such a good time. And, sorry about that, but, I like letting you guys get to know a bit more about me, and that, ah, uh, that was such a good memory in my head, and I don't know if he remembers that, he probably doesn't. But, like, that was one of those moments that really stuck with me, and always will, and I'll never forget that moment. So, I, I don't know, that was, that was a nice moment. Hey! Sorry, took a long time to write back. I was talking to the people. <laughs> I know it's been a while since we last talked. That's okay. What happened? Oh god, I have a feeling something bad happened. I've just been going through a lot lately. Is everything okay? You okay, Emily? 
yeah, everything is fine. In my experience, when somebody says that, things are not usually fine. So listen, I was hoping we could talk about things. Of course. What's up? What do you want to talk about? I just feel like things are weird between us. Have you felt like that? I felt weird too, yeah. Okay, let, let's talk it through. Let's talk it through. Communication is key. I think it's because of last year. Things have been weird since I came to visit. What happened? Jack, please be honest with me. See, she's talking right to me. Did you plan that we would hook up? Oh. No, I, I don't want to lie. Because part of the thing was, yeah, come over. Like, we like each other. We're obviously going to kiss or whatever. So, I thought it was possible. But I never <clears throat> planned it. I never, like, went out of my way to make it happen. I wasn't using you. In retrospect, it all just seemed so planned out. It wasn't. <clears throat> I mean, we spent the whole time hanging out in your dorm. And we only really left to get food and stuff. That's just the way I am. <laughs> Even in real life, I don't leave my house unless I have to. You must have known how vulnerable I was. I didn't know. I didn't think it was an issue. Oh, crap. You seemed fine. You wanted to ho Oh, yeah, good idea. I don't know. Okay, I just... I don't know. Do you regret coming to visit me? Did you have a bad time? Oh god, Undertale references. <laughs> Did you get dunked on? <laughs> Did I do something wrong? Ah, that's a weaselly thing to say. Did I do something wrong? You chose to ask about yourself. Fuck, see? No, you didn't. Why did I choose that? Just a lot happened really quickly. Yes, it did. And I said that to you guys. It's just made me feel differently. Um, in a bad way? I was gonna say I'm sorry. No, not bad, just different. I don't know. Will we ever be the same? Are we still friends? Want to keep in touch? Are we still friends? Yeah, at least I think so. Okay, that's good. I'm sorry, things are just really weird for me right now. But thank you for talking to me about it all. We can talk anytime. Anytime you want to talk, I am open, Emily! Share your feelings! I was gonna say spare your feelings. I'm like, what's the word I'm looking for? I couldn't think of the word share. What is wrong with my brain? So, how's school and everything going? It's alright. Just same old, same old. School is school, man. Usually goes the same for most people. So, how's your friend, uh, Mike? What? Why Mike? Entrepreneurs Club, the Innovation Center, Tuesday, 6 to... And all I want to hear is the message beep. My dreams, they've got to kiss me, because I don't get sleep. No, I don't know that song. He's okay, I guess. Wait, what's Emma saying? Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. I will try to fix you. I will try to fix you. People change, memories don't. Lower your eyelids to die with the sun. People are deep. <laughs> As you may tire of me, as our December sun is setting, because I'm not who I used to be. Death Cab. Death Cab for cutie, right? Is that what they're called? I've never listened to them. Love is watching someone die, so who's going to watch you die? I don't want your help. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. What, what's Brad up to now? Oh, wait. I checked him already. Um, he's been a tool lately. I don't know what's going on. What the hell is happening right now? Yeah, it sucks when people change. Are you are you subtly uh, implying? What about your other friend, Emma? Uh, we hang out sometimes. Haven't seen her in a while because she said something about people changing, so maybe she's talking about me. Haven't seen her in a while. See her around, but we haven't hung out. 
Is she just a friend or she's just a friend? Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I don't think I can do this right now. What do you mean? What's going on? Talking right now is just kind of hard. I've got to go soon anyways. Will we talk again later? Of course. Oh man, I remember being in conversations like this. I remember being in conversations like this with people back ages ago and before like I had a girlfriend or anything back then it was like you you talk to people and you, you always wonder depending on what they said you were always like oh god did I upset them did I say something wrong oh god they're mad at me oh no I was like when they say we'll talk again later right you were like they don't mean that they're just saying that because they know that that's what I want so they just want to leave ah oh, all those feelings I was so like paranoid about messing stuff up with people back then I mean, I still kind of am, but now, like, I've grown up and I've matured, in that sense, not in my jokes, my jokes are still all dick jokes, but, like, I've grown a lot as a person and I've learned a lot about human behavior and the way people are and body language, and I'm an incredibly good judge of character. I say that to people all the time, and, like, a lot of people say that, a lot of people say, I'm a really good judge of character, and then, like, you can't prove something like that. But I, like, I honestly believe that I am, I, I haven't been wrong about so many people, and even times when I'm like, I get bad vibes from people and I keep saying, maybe I'm wrong about them, everyone else says they're a good person, and then like, a couple of months later you find out something, you're like, I knew it, I was right about them, I knew right from the start that they were a douchebag, because they do something horrible and then you find out that they were horrible all along, so, I, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm usually a pretty good judge of character, I can tell how people are by their body language and the way they, just, just the way they are, I've always thought I'd be a good like, psychologist, or a therapist, or one of those things, I don't know the difference. There's probably very fine differences between them all, but I've always thought I'd be pretty good at that kind of stuff. Just, like, reading people's emotions. Um, even though I'm terrible at opening up sometimes to other people, but I, I keep very, everything very internalized sometimes, and I just, I, I like to, like, just go take a walk, or play some games, and let things just settle down and simmer down. Um, so, I don't know. So, just, I, I've matured a lot in that regard, and I've been able to, like, discern what people are thinking a lot more. Senior year of college, so I think this is the last chapter. Oh god, I don't recognize- Oh, High School Musical, no. I don't recognize any of this shit now. I don't know any of these bands. So, I'm just gonna go with a frickin' penguin. <laughs> I like penguins. Let's- let's see what Brad. Guitarist looking for a band. To those I've wronged, let's play one more song. I just want to break you down so badly in the worst way. Taking back Sunday. Emily has signed in. Oh, she's not even writing to me first this time. Let's check. It's hard to argue when you won't stop making sense, but my tongue still misbehaves and it keeps digging my own grave. We'll walk from this dark room for the last time. The past is just that. This shop is taking me far away. Far away from the memories of people who care if I live or die. News. That used to be the thing in AOL. Or AIM, AIM, AOL Instant Messenger. That used to be the thing people did, and it was MySpace too, is that your bio was always a music quote, a very deep quote. And people were always like, I want to find something that defines my life that makes me sound super deep, even though I don't really understand the quote that I'm writing. And I've done that. I think we all have. People on Facebook still do it. Um, life is too short to wait. This is the time of your life, but you just can't tell. See what Mike is up to. Innovator, not for you, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care. Oh, wait! President of Synergy Applications. Make your business work for you. It's not about ideas, it's about making ideas happen. Did he steal my idea for a business? It's not about ideas. I'm the one who I had, had the idea. It's about making ideas happen. So he stole my fucking idea? Did he Zuckerberg me? Did I get Zuckerberg by Excite Mike? What a douche nozzle. Hey. <coughs> hey, Jack. That was always the thing as well. When somebody signed in, it was like, oh god, I want to message them so bad, but I don't want to seem needy, I don't want to bother them. And they're probably on the other side thinking as well, I hope they message me. I don't want to message them because it, I don't want to seem needy or it, get in the way. Should I say, how's it shaking again for all time's sake? It's good. 
How are you? Things could be better. No, no, um... I wanna- I wanna- I wanna talk about her, I don't wanna make it all about myself. Oh, good! How have you been? I feel like we haven't talked in like a year! Even though it was like five minutes ago. Everything's been really good! Oh, awesome! You have any plans for the weekend? What are you up to tonight? What's... What's new in your life? What's new in your life? I feel like that's an interesting question. Instead of just, what are you up to tonight? What's going on at the weekend? Not a whole lot really, just finishing up college. As we all are. Oh, I don't know if you knew, me and Brad got back together. <sighs> Good for you. If somebody gets back together with their ex, especially since I don't know him, there's no point being like, are you sure? Like judging them, like let them do them. Thanks. How's your friend Emma doing? Uh, those are not good answers. Well, she started dating Mike, so now I barely see her. Oh, I'm sorry. It's whatever. Well, college is almost over, anyways. Can't believe we're almost adults. <laughs> Can you believe we're almost adults? It flew by, don't you think? Yeah, it really did. Crazy to think we're almost like real adults. Crap, I should have said that. Do you miss high school? We had some good times. High school was so long ago. Um, do you miss high school? At all? Not really. I'd rather not think about the past though. Ooh. How the hell is this going to end? I'm sorry. I'm just tired of reliving memories. Oh god. I know, I know. Oh god, there's a hair on my eyebrow. Go away. Um, yes, I know my eyebrows are all hairs. Um, I know I'm not saying much during this, but I'm, like, I'm just like thinking about everything that's going on. I really feel like I know this girl now. So, any plans for graduation? So, all set for graduation. So, any big projects left? Any plans for graduation? Can we hook up? Can we get together one last time? Well, not hook up. I mean, like, we'll see each other and we'll relive all those old memories. Even though she says she doesn't relive memories, but with me, we had good times. Oh, no. Not really. I know my family's coming up and stuff. Are you going to move back home? What's Brad doing after graduation? I don't know what this douchebag is up to. I think me and him are going to stay here for the summer at least. Oh. That, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm so alone. How's your week going? What did you do last weekend? Can we talk about things? Oh, she said she doesn't want to talk about that stuff. But I feel like we have to. Ooh, let's just do it. <sighs> oh. Oh, I'm not even allowed to! Oh, no! Not really, I've just been working. Could I see you this summer? Are you gonna erase this? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> In with the boring questions! Yeah, just some stuff to you tomorrow. Goodbye! No! Do you ever miss things? How are classes? No! They're good. Same old, same old. Come on! Write it! Write it! Just listening to old stuff. It's gonna keep going until all three options are goodbye. This is sad. This is really sad. How's the weather? No, man.
mission complete! Was there other endings to that? I don't know. I didn't see anybody talk about different endings. Oh no! And then I was away at the end, not her. Ah, oh, that sucks. That really sucks. That was really good though. I know, I'm not saying the game sucks. I mean, I'm saying that the outcome sucks. I was so alone, I should have went with Emma. It's like, it's, it's that thing people are always like, don't wait around. People are even saying in their, the bios in the game, like, don't wait around, make things happen. Like, if it's not gonna happen with Emily, like, don't wait around and get your heart broken. Move on. Move on with your life. If, something, if something's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Just move on with your life. Don't wait around. Don't sell yourself short. Like, move on. Get with somebody who actually does appreciate you. That kind of stuff, so... Oh, that was really sad. Oh, no. How- I'm supposed to record other st stuff after this. How am I gonna be able to do that? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was really good, though. I felt like I really got to know her. Ah, oh, Jesus. I wonder if I can go back and just, like, pick different answers and see if there's a different ending. Maybe I should look up to see if there's different endings. Okay, so I looked it up, and I don't think there's, like, lots of endings. A lot of people were saying that, like, oh, that's it, or goodbye is the ending or whatever, so I think a lot of people are getting the same thing. Maybe there is just one ending, and maybe that's the point of it. Maybe it's to show that, like, you can't win the girl all the time. Like, this is really, really relatable. I I've had scenarios like this, where some girl comes in, and you really, really like her, and it seems like things are gonna work out between the two of you. She gets with some other guy, you're like, oh, okay then, that's fair enough, but you don't like the guy? Then they break up. Uh, well, I've never had the part where they like break up. She comes to you then. Then you like don't get together in the end or whatever. But it's like she like used me to get over Mike or not Mike. Um, Brad. She used. She basically used me. She broke up with him, and then a week later she came to my place. We hooked up. She blamed me for how vulnerable she was because like. You, you're the one who really- you're the one who instigated it, that, like, oh, why didn't you kiss me? So, like, obviously you wanted to hook up and kiss me. Like, you wouldn't have brought it up if that wasn't the case. Um, so she came over and then it was like, did you use me? Did, did you know how vulnerable I was? Did you just do that to, like, hook up with me? I don't know if they slept together or not. But, like, come on, Emily! S no! And then she ended up with Brad in the end anyway. So I was what? I was your- I was your emotional punching bag. You can't do that to me, man. Um, and there was all there was all these those times as well that she was writing stuff, and it says Emily is deleting or something, and then typing again. So, and my character kept doing that too. So I wonder if she was writing stuff like "I love you" or something, but then went against it and said something else. And because of what I said, then she was like, "No, he probably doesn't feel the same way." It's like it ah, oh, because she kept saying, "I wonder if things had been different if you just kissed me back then." And I wonder if we had just said the stuff we needed to, would stuff have moved on? Ah, oh, man, so good. It's really, really relatable. And any people going through high school will probably feel a lot of the same stuff about this game now. Also, apparently this game came out ages ago. That it was on itch.io. There's a lot of good games on that site, actually. But this is like a Steam version of it. And I don't know how old the Steam version of the game is either. It might not be that new. I just saw it today, so I've, I have no idea. But... Oh, uh, that was good. I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching that. That was a lot more than I was expecting out of this. I, I had no idea what to expect and I'm pleasantly surprised. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching it. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys and I will see all your dudes next day. Why? Dude! Those are all hallways! How about that? There was more to it than we had anyway. Emily played with my emotions! You can't do that to me! I love you.